Oh, fucks, looks like we have somebody who wants to do a review. Unless you want to speak English, can you get out the way so I can finish up? Cinnamon. Morning everyone, my name is Rui Valentin and today we're going to be looking at the Nightcore SRT7 GT as well as the RGB filters, red, green and blue. We're also going to look at the RSW1 remote switch and the GM02 gun mount. Okay, so as always, very detailed box. Uh, 1000 lumens, 450 meters, RGB colors including UV, and a bit of details on the back, some more details on the side. So let's see what you get inside with the box. You got your warranty card, and be sure to fill this out so you can get your extended warranty. But the owner's manual, very small but in a couple of languages. You've got your holster, metal D-ring, as well as your velcro strap, your belt, and just loop over. And then your spare lanyard, your lanyard, your tactical ring, uh, some spare O-rings, and a spare end cap. Okay, so the SRT7 GT, which is Smart Ring Tactical, because of the ring that they use to select your different functions. Uh, made out of aerospace grade aluminium and HA3 military grade anodizing. Let's just give it a bit of a closer look on the quality of the finishing. Let's just focus there a little bit. As you can still see, night calls up to scratch with their quality on their finishing. A bit closer. Okay, so the SRT7 GT Smart Ring Tactical 7, which means 7 modes, and Grand Throw, which is now capable of throwing 450 meters, uh, also rated at 1000 lumens. Uh, internal clever bits, it still has ATR technology, which is the automatic temperature regulation, so the circuitry inside prevents the flash out from overheating, which regulates the power output to the LED. Obviously, um, extending the life of the LED as well. The SRT7 was designed specifically for law enforcement, obviously from the alternating red and blue RGB color uh, LEDs, uh, for hunting as well, and then tactical ops. Um, but you'll see that unlike, say, the MH27, it hasn't got a crenellated bezel, also mineral glass uh, coated. You can see all the LEDs. Here's your multiple LEDs. It also has reverse polarity protection, so if you install a battery the wrong way around, it will just detect it on one, one switch on. So that's protected as well. It also has a spring-loaded uh, anti-absorption uh, contacts, which I'll show you quickly. Let's just check here. See that the spring, the contact is sitting on a spring at the bottom there. You can just see it inside there. So I'll show you a demonstration on this when it's mounted to the shotgun. Uh, this will ensure that the battery doesn't lose contact with it and the flashlight stays on at all times. Now on the SRT7 GT, instead of having your, your mode buttons in it, what they have is this tactical ring right here. If you can hear all the, I don't know if you can hear all the clicking. So that is your function selector, the smart ring technology, which is patented to Nikon. So let's just go through some of the functions uh, to switch this flash out on and off. Just use the tail switch on the back, switch it on. Let's just go all the way to the right quickly. We start from one end, switch it on. You start off with strobe function. Uh, one turn 
will give you your full 1000 lumens and then just like your dimmer switch, light dimmer switch at home just turn it and you'll see the, the intensity going down and from 1000 lumens you'll go down to 0 0.1 but you'll hear a click and when you're on that click that is your standby mode which you'll see this little LED will shine once every two minutes, once every two seconds sorry. This can also be used as um, a locator if it's on your nightstand during the night and you're looking for the flashlight this will keep flashing all the time. Uh, next click over will be your UV light uh, further on in the video you'll see some examples of the UV light uh, next click will be your red now your red shines at 13 lumens and will last you approximately 28 hours uh, next click will be your green green is rated at 19 lumens uh, last you 26 hours and then your blue <coughs> which is 13 lumens again and also rated at uh, 28 hours and the next click will be your alternating flashing red and blue for law enforcement and then your location beacon now from what I've really picked up I would have preferred the location beacon and the strobe on the same end so if you you can see like from your location beacon it's on the far right if you want to call it and if you click all the way to the one side you see there's your strobe um, SRT7 does not have um, SOS okay so taking a look at the RGB filters uh, just pick this up this is a green one made from rubber and I'm almost convinced that this is tempered glass they do come off you can take them off and it does look like tempered glass so I would be careful not to throw them around this could break I'm not going to test it and if you don't want to use uh, the glass on here this can be used for the actual housing can be used to protect your flashlight if you'd like keep it on like that and obviously you can just tie some string on here to the end cap so you don't lose it Yeah, I'll also be putting these through the test as well um, on the range because uh, as the SRT7 has been uh, designed for hunting in mind I'm going to run some of these filters down the range I'll run the, re the green and red and then we'll see how they perform So this one here is the green one, you get four of them, you get the green one, uh, you get the red one, see the red, you check through red, you check through green, and then you get your blue one. See there. Okay, so looking at the GMO2, it's also made of aerospace grade aluminium. Um, you do get supplied with an Allen key uh, so mounting is very very straightforward just loosen these Allen screws here until they're loose enough and then just slide it onto any one of the flashlights just like that and obviously you can just tighten it set them got your Picatinny rail mount Tighten it onto the mount using this screw here and just tighten it once you put it onto your Picatinny rail. The GMO2 will fit any flashlight with the same diameter. So, for example, here I've got the R25. It's the R25, as you can see, fits snugly. And also I've got an MH12, I won't fit that one, but I've got to take the tactical ring off, it will fit on there also. So yeah, I'll also be putting this through the test, it will be mounted onto the shotgun, and we'll see how it withstands, see if anything comes loose, 
And yeah, you'll see it on the video. Okay, so this is Nightcore's RSW1 remote switch. Now you get an RSW1 and you get an RSW2, but let's just talk about this one for a bit. Um, obviously, also aluminium uh, casing on here, uh, like industrial rubber. It does have three switches on here. Uh, let's just get some focus on there. You'll see there's three switches. Now, if we put this on the MH, uh, sorry, the SRT7 GT. Now you'll see it'll have a switch on here as well, which if you switch on whatever mode you left the flashlight on, so let's just go to a thousand, it'll stay on. And once that is on, the actual switches itself, they don't function as anything. But if I have to switch it off, and I press any one of these three switches, you'll see that the flashlight will come on. But you have to keep it depressed. Doesn't matter which one of the three, they'll always stay the same. So no matter what you've left your, if you want to go to strobe, you can see the strobe, strobe in there, but on the camera it's not quite visible. But you have to keep it depressed. So whatever mode you left the flashlight in, that's the mode which will come on once you press the uh, the switches. Now the RSW1 will work with any flash of Nightcore's flashlights with the same head diameter. So to give you, just to show you quick. Okay, so just going back, you'll see that switch on, it'll bring the flashlight on, the switch on, no matter what you press on the switch, nothing will happen, switch it off, and if you depress the trigger switch, it'll still come on. So I can have this on the lower setting, switch it on. And it'll work. It'll also work with the R25, which I do have, I've tested. So any any one of Nightcore's flashlights with the same head diameter, a tail cap diameter, will work on here. Now, I haven't tested it uh, personally, but I have seen a video. The RSW2 only works with <coughs> the P20, the P20 UV, uh, P10 and P05 flashlights. Now from what I saw in the video, so as I was saying, the, S, the RSW1 switch will work on any of Nightcore's flashlights with a similar tail cap diameter, uh, like your MH12, your R25s and so forth, uh, MH27. But um, Nightcore's other RSW2 tactical switch <coughs> will only work with a, a P20, a P20 UV, a P10 and a P05. Now I haven't tested it personally, but I did come across a video where somebody briefly tested the RSW2. So apart, uh, using those flashlights I mentioned, if you do switch it on, let's say you switch it on on uh, the full 1000 lumens, um, one of these switches, if I switch it off, uh, one of the switches on this um, switch pad will switch the 1000 lumens, the other switch will switch the strobe. Uh, function, but that only on those P20s and the P10 and P05 flashlights. Uh, I have tried on this one here, but it, it just doesn't work. This, like I said, it works all three as the same thing. But on the RSW2, um, it does function as if you've got it mounted on your weapon, you can press one of the tail switches, um, it'll throw the full 1000 lumens, and you press the other one, it'll be a uh, strobe function. So we're going to take a look at some of the, the demos um, now and then. We'll mount this onto the shotgun and see what it does in the range, how the dual spring system holds up, and see how those filters shoot um, in a dark range.
here's the green filter. You can see it's got quite a bit of a throw. It's not bad for hunting. If I'm not mistaken, this is used for herbivores. Presumably for predators, but yeah, you should be able to hunt with this, not a problem. Back to green again. Just to show you off the blue, blue is not so bright, but yeah, more for trace probably and map reading. Read once more. I think green shines better than the red. There you have it. Night cores RGB filters. Here you have the Night Core SRT7 GT. We're gonna soon play with it underwater. Can't really see the red, but you can see the blue. That's it, 1000 lumens lighting up the pool. Okay, another use for the SRT7 GT. When you want to look for cat piss, there you find it with a UV light. Shows up yellow or like neon green. 